everyone. I'm Brock with PDQ, and today we are continuing our Getting Started with PDQ Connect series. This is going to be episode 11. Today we're going to be talking about our Entra ID, formerly known as Azure AD, thanks Microsoft, integration inside of PDQ Connect, okay? So let's go ahead and dive into Connect here, and we'll navigate to that page by going to the settings gear icon down here in the bottom left. So when you click that, you'll have uh, your various pages here, your teammates' roles. What we're looking for is the Entra ID Azure AD integration page. We'll click on that. And there's a couple things I wanna point out here. So first of all, you can see that I've got a tenant here that currently has no access. Now the way that PDQ Connect pulls in this information is when it is scanning your PDQ Connect devices, it will be able to tell whether or not they are joined to an Entra ID tenant. When it detects that a device is joined to a tenant, it will pull that option in here to connect it with PDQ Connect, okay? So what we could do is we could go through, I could click allow access. That's gonna take us to a Microsoft login page to finish that connection. But instead we're gonna go back. I've already got a, an environment that is connected with Entra ID. So I'll change my environment to the demo org here. And then we'll go back to our settings page, back to the Entra ID. And you'll see here that we have our smart deployed tenant and that access is allowed. Uh, something else I wanna point out here is once you make that uh, connection, that integration, you'll actually have this option over here on the right where it lets you download a device compar a comparison CSV file. And that file is gonna contain all the devices that are part of your Entra ID tenant but are not joined to PDQ Connect. So if you're looking for devices that hey, I know I have a lot of devices in Entra ID, but I don't know which ones don't have PDQ Connect on them. You can click this, that's gonna download a file for you, and we can go ahead and open that up, take a look at it. It's gonna say missing devices, and here it's gonna give you all your information of the devices that are in that tenant that are not part of PDQ Connect. So now what can you do with this? So let's go back to our main PDQ Connect page here. We're on the devices tab. So you can identify which devices do and don't or are and aren't joined to Entra ID. So if I click on Dr. Strange here, if I come down to Active Directory and Entra ID, you can see that this one is not joined to our Entra ID tenant. So we'll go back. I know that Captain Marvel is. We'll take a look at what that looks like. And here you go. It starts to pull in the device ID, the tenant ID, the tenant name, and it, you get a check mark for saying that it's joined there. So you can easily, if I wanted to, an easier way to do it would be to go to filters. And I can start, once you're uh, joined to that Entra ID tenant, you can start filtering for this information. So I can go here to my filters and I'll go to Active Directory and Entra ID. I'll change this filter drop down to Entra ID joined is true. And that should return only devices that are joined to that Entra ID tenant. Here you go. We see that we've got a couple of devices right here. Uh, I can make this easier for myself in the future by coming back up here to my filter and saving this as a group. So I will just name this Entra ID joined. We'll save that and then I can always come back to this group to just see which devices are members of that. Okay, something else we can do with this information if we dive into Captain Marvel here, we can go and we can actually see the Active Directory and Entra ID group. So these are gonna be groups that these devices are part of inside of your Entra ID tenant. So you can see we've got a couple of these here. So let's go back out to our devices and we are gonna go down here to create a group. I saw one of those groups was autopilot. So we'll name it, we'll make it a dynamic group so we are based off filters here. We'll again change this, but this time we're gonna change it to the Active, Active Directory and Entra ID groups. And we're gonna change the group name contains, and we're gonna look for that autopilot group. Okay, we'll create that group. And here you go, you see that we pull back those two devices again that are members of that group inside of Entra, okay? So that's really useful if you have an Entra uh, ID tenant that has tons of groups and you organize your devices by those groups. Uh, you can now pull that information into PDQ Connect and use that information for your filters, okay? And then you can also use those groups for your package deployments, your automations, your reports, so on and so forth, okay? So that wraps up this one. Pretty easy to understand. Get that tenant connected and you're off to the races. Got a lot of useful information there. If you want to make sure that you're catching up with all the latest PDQ content, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you got any questions about this process, hit us up down in the comments down below, or we've got a thriving 
Discord community that you can go to. We got tons of cool sysadmins over there always talking about the products and various sysadmin talks. So definitely check that out. And uh, as always, for PDQ, I'm Brock. Thanks for watching.